Good morning, everyone. Um, we often get a question about the 6L80 transmission in the Camaro CTS, uh, CTS-V as a 6L90. Um, you know, the, most of the, the G8s, how much can a 6L80 hold? And quite honestly, um, that's a loaded question because it really comes down to how well the calibration is done on the engine side so that it properly reports torque to the TCM so the TCM knows what to do with line pressures in regards to torque. As torque goes up, line pressure has to go up. So if your torque reporting is off because your engine calibration is off, your TCM will fail. The other side of it is how well the TCM tuning is done. Okay, so I see a lot of very aggressive uh, TCM tunes that have caused transmissions to fail. And the number one thing that guys are doing is they're shutting off all the torque management in the TCM side and it causes the transmission to fail because the transmission control module is no longer requesting a torque reduction during the shift. So we have to cut power during the transition from one clutch pack to another. If you don't do that, the transmission will fail. I don't care what parts you put in it. Okay, it's this is not a function of how much money I spent on my transmission and how much money I spent on clutches and I use these special red clutches and all this. It has nothing to do with it. If your calibration is wrong, your transmission is doomed. Okay, so I've been doing calibrations for the better part of my life, even starting with carburetors and points, okay? Um, and I've learned that less is more. So you have to focus on your engine calibration and make sure it's done in an OEM fashion so that the torque reporting is correct. And then you have to go into the transmission and you have to set up the pressure tables and the shift times and the torque management so that the transmission is protected when the engine is making a lot of power. So, with my calibrations, a stock 6L80 can handle 650 rear wheel horsepower pretty efficiently um, for a very, very long time. We do build 6L80s here in the shop, and um, we have some great performance upgrades for them. Uh, we work with Pro Torque and we work with Circle D for torque converters. And um, we built 6L80s that'll handle upwards of 950 horsepower. So it really comes down to the combination of the calibration and the build. I hope that answers your question clearly. If you have any other questions, please post them down below. We'll be happy to answer them for you. Um, cooling is another big one, especially when you put a torque converter in. When you put a torque converter in, the torque converter produces more heat. You need to get rid of that heat. So we do recommend high flow coolers in addition to the radiator cooler. Do not bypass the radiator. Make sure the cooler goes through the radiator, through the tranny cooler, and back to the transmission. And the tranny cooler has to be mounted in, an, in a fashion that allows it to purge all the air. So we want to enter on the bottom of the, of the external tranny cooler. We want to exit on the top of the external tranny cooler so that all the air can purge out and be returned to the pan in the transmission. And that system's fully bled and can be effective at cooling that transmission. So any other questions, post them and we'll be happy to answer. Thank you.